everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how to make hazelnut creamer. Now this is not hazelnut flavor, this is a creamer that's going to be made with raw hazelnuts. Now I usually make a fresh batch of nut milk every Sunday and I usually switch them around, so sometimes I make cashew, almond or hazelnut. I never actually knew how delicious hazelnut milk was until I just made it a few weeks ago. Now it's part of my routine, so um, it's a wonderful milk or creamer to use for your smoothies, for your oatmeal. I personally love using it um, as a creamer for coffee, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video how to make a really delicious frothy cup of latte. So if you want to see how I make it, just stick around. Okay guys, so here's what we're going to need for our hazelnut creamer. We're going to need about one cup of raw hazelnuts. Now these ones have been soaked from the night before and the reason I do that is because it's going to make it so much easier to blend them as well as it's going to uh, get rid of some of the phytic acid that's usually naturally occurring on top of seeds and nuts so we want that out. So we're just going to strain this. The second ingredient is vanilla beans and I love using beans um, and not vanilla extract. The next ingredient is a pinch of sea salt or Himalayan pink salt, this is what I'm using today. We're going to need a container to keep our creamer in and I'm just using a regular glass bottle. This is actually, um, it used to be a kombucha so I just washed and rinsed it and I use it for uh, to store my nut milks and nut creamers. And the last thing we're gonna need is some kind of a strainer. Uh, what I'm using today is actually an organic cotton nut milk bag. I've just strained my nuts and I'm gonna transfer them into Vitamix. You can use any high-speed blender. If you don't have Vitamix, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna transfer it over. So here I had one cup and about one and a half cups of filtered water. Now, this is what makes it a creamer because it's gonna be more concentrated, so I'm using less water. If I were to make a nut milk, I would use about one to four ratio. So I would use one cup of hazelnuts to about four cups of water. Okay, so I'm using a vanilla bean. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape the inside of the vanilla bean, and I swear it makes such a huge difference compared to using vanilla extract. I just love it. Now, keep in mind though, if you use too much, sometimes it's gonna throw the taste of the nut milk or whatever it is you're making, whether you're making a smoothie or whatever it is. So don't use too much and you think this is too small of an amount, but it actually is plenty if you're using a real vanilla bean. Into it goes a pinch of salt. And now I'm going to blend it until it looks like there's no visible pieces and big chunks in there. I'm going to start blending it on low, going up to the highest setting, and just leave it on there for about half a minute or so. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and that's about ready. So now I'm going to use my cheesecloth and I'm gonna strain this. Okay, so I'm using a large glass bowl like this, and I usually prefer to use a larger um, glass container. I'm going to use this bag, which I actually really love. I just wanted to show you, this is from Organic Family Products, and this is made with 100% organic cotton. Now, can you believe I used to use this? <laughs> and yes, you guessed it, this is actually a thin sock. Obviously, it was brand new when I started using it, but um, it did the job, but it you know, let through a lot of bigger particles of nuts, so it wasn't as smooth and creamy as opposed to something like this, which captures everything. So I'm gonna put my nut milk bag into the glass bowl. Now I'm just gonna start squeezing it. Now I'm going to transfer it in this glass bottle and this is going to keep in the fridge for about three to four days. And some people like to put the date uh, when they made the nut milk or creamer. I usually don't do this because I know I'm gonna go through this in the next three days for sure. So now I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing, delicious, creamy cup of coffee latte using our creamer we just made. So all you're gonna need for this is just regular French press. And I just really love the consistency of the cream that it makes in the French press. It's really different um, compared to something like this, which is just a regular little tiny blender, or even a Vitamix. This is going to get you as close to the traditional coffee latte as you can get without using fancy equipment. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the creamer into our French press. About this much a cup, I would say. 
and I'm going to close it and I'm going to start to froth it up. The way you want to do this is doing it really fast, as fast as you can. This is a little bit of an arm workout, but this is going to create a really creamy, delicious nut milk. You can open up and see if you need a little bit more creaming. I think ours is done. It's gotten really nice and thick and you can see all the little bubbles in here. Okay, now I'm gonna pour my freshly brewed cup of coffee. I'm gonna add our creamer. And voila, magic is happening before your eyes. <laughs> This tastes so delicious, you're gonna absolutely love it. It's really creamy, rich, and if you're somebody who is new to nut milks or nut creamers, definitely give this a shot. I know it might seem like it's not gonna be delicious or it might be weird, but it really is super tasty. Okay, cheers. All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And if you wanna see more videos like this, um, go ahead and leave me a comment below about what exactly you want to see. I am a holistic health coach, so if you are curious about any trends or any particular recipes, definitely let me know and I'll be happy to make it. So, thank you so much. Until next time, bye!